they are trying to come for Blake Lively. All kinds of people are coming forward and saying that she's used like transphobic slurs. If you read the gossip magazines and everybody's like had tons of plastic surgery and were actually men and trannies. I mean, it's just like <laughs> that she's had a history of being rude. What does Five that years mean? Of, <laughs> well, in terms of trying, I mean, do you, do you apparently you're not going to sing if you. <laughs> <laughs> I did. You can sing, I sang in this movie. Well, you yeah. see the movie. I did see the movie. <laughs> but I mean... One of the things right now that seems to be doing it is her movie, It Ends With Us, deals with domestic violence. People feel like she's being dismissive of it and not taking her interview seriously enough that maybe her tone in the interviews doesn't match the tone of the movie she's promoting. So if someone understands the themes of this movie comes across you in public uh, and, and they want to really talk to you what's the best way for them to be able to talk to you about this how would you recommend they go about like it like asking for like my address or my phone number or like my location share or i could just location share you and then we could uh <laughs> what do you think about uh, the answer to that i think she's trying to be funny one comment that we got says she made fun of somebody in an interview and fat shamed her and asked if she was pregnant and it was a person who's been suffering with fertility issues and cannot get pregnant. First of all, congrats on your little bump. Uh, congrats on your little bump. <laughs> <laughs> what about my bump? <laughs> She's just plain rude. This is not the only example of Blake Lively being nasty. She's unlikable and she thinks she's better than everybody. That's why people don't like her.